Okay folks, sorry real fast before we start this video, I just gotta tell you guys, I am really sorry there's not been an upload in probably almost three weeks, it's just because I've been actually out of the country the last week and a half, so that's one of the main reasons I've not been able to upload or do any videos guys, I've been on a really big trip that you guys will see here in a few weeks from now, but sorry I kinda stopped it in the middle of Colorado series, I know it was kinda weird, like it had part six and it's like two and a half weeks later it's part seven, it's just, it's just cause I've been out of the country guys, just letting you know again, sorry about the lack of time about an upload, but hopefully you guys will enjoy this video. Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Fish ATX. Guys, welcome back to Colorado. It is now day seven here in Colorado, and let me tell you guys, it has been one heck of a trip so far. Really though, it's been the last two days that have been so good, guys. Just so many big trout, and just really so many trout in general. Yesterday ago, guys, we were able to finally manage to catch our first 20 inch trout three and a half pounder absolute monster rainbow which if it was wild it would not be a trophy but for these ponds 20 and above is a trophy that's kind of what i learned i learned in these ponds it's 20 and above it's a trophy but in the wild in a wild rainbow it's like 22 and above so even for a wild you know it's pretty close so that's just really impressive guys i just cannot believe i caught one that big the whole game plan for today guys is just really have fun you know i've already caught so many big trout we really don't need to keep anymore i brought the tape measure in the Anyway, folks, that's about it. We are starting the morning here at the Money Lake, and that is Lake or Forest Lake, actually. I'm not sure. I don't even mention the name to you guys, but it's been so good for me recently, guys. I mean, it's been good for me all the times I've been here. So it's my first time fishing in the morning. I'll see how it does, but yeah, I'm pretty excited, guys. All right, I was smart this morning. I actually brought my gloves because the last few days my hands have been getting pretty cold, and like especially last night, my hands got pretty chilly. But we were catching fish, so it didn't really matter. It's pretty cold outside right now. It's in the 30s, high 30s, but good thing is the sun's up, you know, and it's, since it's so high in altitude here and it's all dry, it doesn't really matter as long as it, the sun's out. You stay pretty warm. But basically, guys, I'm be starting off with the jerk bait today. It was just so good for me yesterday. I caught so many big fish on it. I was like, you know what? Have to start with it. I'll be throwing around the rooster tail as well, or the beetle spin as well, but I got to start with the jerk bait, guys. It was just so good yesterday. Trout, oh, fish swiped at it, dang it, literally right in front of me. Trout swiped at it right in front of my feet, man. He missed it, never even hit it. All right, well, that's good, it's been showed interest at least. Got him, <laughs> yep, oh, is he off? Dang it, he's off. So, there he is, he's still there. What the heck, man? He hit that so fast, I didn't even have time to work it. He's still there, I saw him swim back, I mean. After being hooked, I don't think he's gonna eat it again, but he swam back up. Oh, trout swiped at it again. It's tangled up on top of the water and another fish swiped at it. He's right there, he's right there, he followed it again. Dude, oh my God, how many am, are, am I gonna get? How many of these little misses am I gonna get? It was tangled up, and I was reeling it in, and that trout came up and tried to freaking kill it. And he missed. I've had probably five fish go for it, and only one of them's even been hooked. He doesn't eat it this time, I swear. Got him. He ate it that time. <sighs> Dang it, he came off. <sighs> Can't keep anything pinned this morning. What the hell, dude? Two fish hooked, both of them gone. I've had about eight swipes. I've probably had eight swipes. I've only had two fish hooked and both times they've come off. What the is going on? Another one on it. Stay down, come on, stay on there. What the is going on? I can't get him to stay on. I can't get him to stay on. So done with this, I'm switching up. Had like eight swipes, three fish hooked, all three of them came off. I mean, none of them were big, but still, what in the actual heck is going on? Well, the goal for today was to have fun. I am sure as hell not having fun right now. I gotta tell you, I am very mad. I'm not gonna put in all the swipes because there was a ton of swipes, but all three of those fish I hooked. And you know, um, I don't know, all came off. Maybe I could have done a better job of maybe keeping my rod tip down just a little more when they jump, you know, because I know, I know you're supposed to do that, but I don't know. <laughs> They're biting for sure, but 
but not exactly getting, not staying pinned. There we go. Come on, man, stay pinned. Keep them pinned. Keep them pinned. Come on. There we go. Finally. God, it took long enough. It took me four fish missed to get one, but finally got my first trout of the day. They were all about this size. I mean, they weren't huge or anything, so it's not a big deal, but ouch, 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 ouch. You almost got that hook me really badly. There he is, guys. First trout of the day. Not a big guy, but I'm just really, really happy to have one. I'm so happy to actually have a fish. <sighs> took took four of these guys to be missed to finally get one, but finally got one. Whew. Yeah, that took too long. That was annoying, that took too long, but you know what? Got our first fish, I'm happy. Got one. <sighs> Feels really, really small. Yeah, okay, he is perch. <laughs> That's why. Yeah, as I said, I felt really small. Second fish of the day, though. I mean, not a bad perch, actually, for how, for how small some of these perch in here are, but, but yeah, not a big fish. Of course, at the perch, out of all the fish I've hooked today, of course, the perch gets pinned, you know. All right, he just pooped all over me. That's awesome. There he is. Let's get him back. All right, guys, we're back in the closet because I need to do some explaining to clear up the rest of this video because it's kind of confusing if I don't. Obviously guys, as you can see, day seven has not been a good day so far. I'd had four or five fish that I'd hooked and missed. I had like 10 or 11 fish just swipe and completely missed my jerk bait. I did catch two fish, which I was happy about, and I did actually, it wasn't on camera, I was looking for the film, and I lost the film, I must have deleted it on accident. I did catch one more perch, just another little perch, really wasn't much. I caught three fish in the morning, guys, and then that was it. I caught nothing else afterwards, so I went out again in the, in the afternoon, and it really was not much better. I did catch one bass, or it kind of got up to the bay, or to the dock, and it came off, as you can see here. Got a fish. Trout actually. What? Might be a trout. Yeah, that's a bass. Yeah. He's a little guy. Yep. I'm throwing a bass lure. Oh, he's only got one hook at him. Alright, he's gone. Alright. I'll count that. I don't really care. And then it hooked another perch, which are kind of the same thing with, you know, like I hooked it, got up to the dock, and it was gone, as you see here. Oh. I got something on. He's small. Oh my god, it's a giant perch. Holy crap. No! Perch? Yeah, that was a big perch. And you know, I was having a bad day, so it's like maybe those are catches. I mean, it was like, obviously it's like a tournament or something, those wouldn't be catches, but I mean, I was just kind of considering those catches just for the heck of it. But obviously, guys, day seven was not a very good day fishing wise, unfortunately. You know, that happens sometimes. Sometimes your days just fall apart. They're just not as good for, for certain reasons. You know, sometimes the fish bites just not as good. Sometimes you hook them and just miss them. You know what, guys? That's fishing, though, and I was pretty upset at the time, but, you know, it's not really a big deal, obviously. One thing I was going to do, guys, was originally I was going to make these separate videos and make this just the fishing part of day seven, and I also have a filleting and cooking part of day seven, but I decided since this video is already so short, I'll just throw them together. So next part, guys, is me filleting my 20-inch rainbow trout, almost four pound rainbow trout, showing you guys how I fillet it and giving you some tips and just kind of tricks on how I like to fillet fish, guys, because over the last few months, I've become pretty good at filleting fish now, guys. I've been doing it, doing it tons on trout and everything, and I've been asked to do a catch and cook, so this is kind of my little catch and cook, guys. It'll be me just showing you how I fillet my 20 inch rainbow trout, and again, I'm just giving you some tips and stuff on how I do it. It's pretty simple, guys. Really, all I do is start with the back facing away from me, and then the head facing towards the left side, and then I fillet down that side, and then I flip it over the back towards me, head still facing to the left, and fillet on that side. And then I go through and debone and everything, but I'll kind of explain that in the video. But yeah, guys, I didn't really, I had already, I made an intro for this since I didn't really, I uh, didn't really plan on making these in the same video, so it's, it might be a little confusing at first because it's like me kind of throwing you in the middle of the video, but you'll get it, and it's really just me showing you how I fillet the fish so and eating it as well but hopefully you guys will enjoy this little second part of this video again sorry wasn't many fish in this but yeah hopefully you guys will enjoy the little catch and cook part of this video all righty here is big bertha <laughs> my goodness she is big all right guys so i'm going to show you how to fillet one of these sides so what i like to do is move 
fin up there, and you get right behind its gill plate, and you just start to cut down. And now my knife is not very sharp, so this might be a little bit tougher for me, just on a bigger fish like this, but you, you cut down until you find that spine. And I'm on it right now. So once you find that, do not remove the knife, just take a turn like this, and start cutting down its spine. And again, my knife is not very sharp, so it's kind of a little bit tougher for me, but there we go. Let's try to get the most meat off this as we can. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Normally, you just want to flip it off. I'm not doing that because I don't want to get the table dusty, but don't do that because you'll cut your hand really badly. I actually have done that before. All right, so all you gotta do now, just flip her off. <laughs> wow, I moved the trout so you guys can see this a little better, but wow, that is a lot of meat. All right, so now that we have our filet, we're just gonna cut out the rib cage. And a lot of people will, will do this wrong, you know, and they'll cut out a lot of good meat, so I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. So just gonna start right, just getting it underneath like that. And I mean, I'm not very, I'm not exactly, I mean, I'm not bad at filleting, but I'm not a pro or anything, so I always like to take my time when I do this, you know. I'll speed it up for you guys, but I always take my time getting underneath this rib cage just so I can save as much meat as possible. You see there, get underneath it. You're just gonna cut straight underneath it, but just try to make it as close to those ribs as you possibly can, just so you're not losing any meat. rib cage right there as you can see very little meat wasted got almost all that meat off and now all you have to do guys is just do a little bit of cleaning up of it and there you go after a little bit of cleaning you got a beautiful filet look at the heck guys that is a lot of awesome reddish pink meat that'll be great for eating tonight all right guys now that we have one side done we're gonna get on to the other one but real fast i don't think i mentioned this at the beginning of the video this is very 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 important you have to start with the back facing away from you. So you want to start like this, like you want to cut it from the back away. And it's the exact opposite on the other side. I'm gonna flip it over now. And we're gonna start with the back facing me. That's kind of how it works. I'll, I'll put a little reminder at the beginning of the video, but sorry, I didn't say that earlier. Cut right behind the gill plate again. And basically you're just gonna repeat the same process. I'm not gonna talk about it this time, but I'll just show you myself flying it. Yeah, alrighty folks, the job is done. All the fish are filleted, or at least our, our three biggest ones are filleted. <laughs> we still have a, quite a few more to fillet, but they're all smaller, and we'll just do that some other day, but they're all done. Now all I have to do is eat them. All right, guys, we're about to eat dinner, so I'm gonna give you guys a little quick taste test and wrap this video up, but here's some trout right there. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good with all the stuff on it, too. The trout, it just tastes amazing, guys. All right, we're back here in the closet again. The original outro I made for this video, guys, did not really make sense because, you know, this is the way I kind of formatted this video. It's not really how I planned it, so just gotta really kind of do a new outro here. Guys, really hope you enjoyed this video. I know there really weren't many fish in it, but I hope you learned something about filleting fish. I didn't even do it that well, honestly. Like, the last few weeks, I've filleted even more fish recently, so I've learned a little bit more. But really, the main thing I want you to take away from this video is just when you're filleting a fish, the way I do it, this always works for me. Just start with the top of the fish facing away from you, the top, like the back facing away from you, the head pointing to the left side. Do that first, flip it over, and then the head still facing to the left, do the back facing towards you, and then debone it. That's all I can say. I do that every single time, and it always works for me, guys. And like I said, too, in the thing, just cut down the rib cage and go straight down, and you'll be fine. It's really, once you do it a few times, you learn how to do it, guys. It's really not that hard to fillet fish. So hopefully learn a little bit something today, guys, and you can take it into your own filleting game. Anyway, folks, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to Fishing ATX if you are new. There are still a few more videos coming from Colorado, guys, but... 
we have some really exciting stuff coming afterwards. Like I said at the end of the video, I've been out of the country. So yeah, we have a bit of an exciting series coming up after this, guys. Again, guys, really hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you folks next time back out on the water.